A HERO IS WELCOMED HOME FOR THE FIRST TIME SINCE ARRIVING IN SACRAMENTO. ANTHONY SADLER IS TALKING ABOUT WHAT IT'S LIKE TO BE NOW IN THE INTERNATIONAL SPOTLIGHT. IT'S KIND OF OVERWHELMING FOR ME. I DIDN'T EXPECT uh, ALL THIS TO HAPPEN. But... Well, Anthony Sadler's humbleness was obvious as he appeared at a news conference today at City Hall. And so was the large security contingent that may be part of his life for the foreseeable future. KCRA 3's David Beenick is live for us at City Hall with what that hero had to say on his first day home. David? Edie, good evening. Yes, yeah, speaking here at City Hall, Anthony Sadler said he is glad to be back home in Sacramento. His family says they're getting so much attention, they're probably going to have to hire a media spokesperson. Another indication that for them, getting life back to normal may not be so easy. Surrounded by several police officers and accompanied by Mayor Kevin Johnson, Anthony Sadler and his family members walked to a stage that had been set up outside Sacramento City Hall. After such a crazy few days, it feels good to be back on American soil, but especially in Sacramento. Um, this is my home. I got one bone to pick with you. Mayor Johnson okay joked about seeing Sadler on TV wearing a Lakers t shirt, then presented him with a Sacramento Kings jersey. It's kind of overwhelming for me. I didn't expect uh, all this to happen. Sadler spoke for less than 30 seconds, then left without taking any questions. Police closed down streets around City Hall as a motorcade whisked him away. Some people have wondered if the actions of Sadler and the other men might now make them targets themselves. His father was asked today if he has such concerns. Uh, yes, I do, uh, but there, there are no credible threats right now. Mayor Johnson says a homecoming parade is still in the works as soon as the two other men, Spencer Stone and Alex Scarlatos, also return. The police chief says there's no reason to believe such a celebration would not be safe for the honorees and the public. Just like we do whenever we have an event like that or the marathon or, or Amgen or any of those type of things, those are all big international events and that's what this would probably be and we expect it to be very safe and a great event and we encourage a lot of people to come out. The chief also says there's no reason to believe that Anthony Sadler can't return to Sacramento State next Monday for the start of classes and the start of his senior year. Live at Sacramento City Hall, David Beeney, KCRA 3 News.